Some people have been asking, Andrew, how come you don't do Canadian news? Andrew, where do you get your hair done? Andrew, do you shave your entire body? The answer to all those is nair, my friend. But actually, here's some Canadian news. How about some news about weed? Would you like that? Would, would that tickle your fancy, as people say? I've never liked that saying. Men are almost twice as likely as women to smoke marijuana, according to CTV News. But of course, we'll go right to the study. And that is because we don't trust the news here on Andrew Says. Can't do it. Can't trust them. Sorry, too many things going wrong here in the world. Males at 21% were almost twice as likely to have used cannabis in the first half of 2019 as females at 12%. Almost 3 in 5 females reported, reported never having consumed cannabis at 59% compared to men with just 51%. About one-third of Canadians reported having tried cannabis in the past but are not current users. Now there's way more statistics involved here that show you just how messed up Canada really is. <laughs> more men smoke daily at 8% compared to women at 4%. Men also more, are more likely to use it for non-medical reasons and about 16% of Canadians 15 or older use cannabis in 2019. That's 4.9 million people. 16% of people 15 and older. That's a pretty big percentage. It's probably more, if I had to guess. People don't want to broadcast it, even though it's legal. I don't think as many people want to broadcast it as you may think, even though it's legal. 42% of users were still getting it illegally. The government is concerned. Just 8% are getting it from homegrown uh, cannabis or that which is grown by a friend. Now, why are so many people getting it illegally, you might ask. It's completely illegal. You don't have to hide it. You can have up to 30 grams on you. That's a lot. That's a... What can we what can we compare it to? I don't know if anyone in America knows how much 30 grams is. Maybe we'll put it on the screen. There we go. But obviously the government's concerned because this was supposed to be the cash cow. This is supposed to be, you know... The way we get out of debt, uh, it's going to make the illegal purchases go way down. Now, the study actually says 76% say quality and safety determine where they buy their cannabis, but I'm going to go out on a limb and make a few guesses and hopefully not get arrested for making some guesses. Weed has not exactly blown up in Canada the way it is in Colorado and California, if you didn't know. There's only one place per province to buy online an official store. It comes pretty slow in the mail, I'm told. <laughs> Most cities do not have store. In fact, for example, there's only 25 cities in all of Ontario. 25 stores, sorry. A lot of them are in Toronto. 25 stores in all of Ontario that sell cannabis. That's for a population of over 14 million people. Not billion, 14 million people, Andrew, what are you saying? There's also no cool gadgets, they don't have the edibles, they don't have the oils, all these fancy things. Joe Rogan talks about weed suckers that he used to have years, this is in Fear Factor days, we're nowhere near that. So it's probably why people are still getting it illegally. My guess is that it'll slowly get better, and slowly these things will come out more and more, and the government will begin to discourage people from getting it illegally, and start shutting down some of these websites and some of these apps. Yes, there are apps out there where you can get weed illegally. Remember, I wouldn't lie to you except for maybe this once or unless I was high. Just kidding. Don't get high. Don't ban me, YouTube. I don't get high. I wouldn't lie if I was. I wouldn't lie if I was high. What am I saying? Have a good night. <laughs>